Hi, hello, welcome to GameSpot's live stream of the Indie Mix. We have a bunch of great independent games because it's GDC weekend. Game Developers Conference is happening in our backyard, and uh, thankfully we have access to a lot of developers who want to show off their games. Uh, now, the Indie Mix is sort of this event that uh, is held for developers who are currently working on uh, independent games, of course, and then um, we also got in contact with people running the Indie Mix so we can have them come in and actually play their games for us live here on GameSpot. So uh, yeah, first off, we're going to kick off with one that we had last year called Noita, and I'm joined by Petri, who is uh, working hey. on the game. Uh, awesome. How you doing, man? I'm good. Yeah. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good myself. We're just starting with GDC weekend. There's a lot going on. So, uh, yeah, this is a hell of a way to kick off uh, the week, though, because uh, I'm very excited about a lot of things that are being shown off on the Indie Mix, including Noita. So we're going to cut to that, mm -hmm. and we're going to have Petri play his own game, and we'll see how good he does <laughs> in his own game. I know we're talking about that. But just before we went live, I was talking about how like uh, you can't judge him for how he plays because this, he made this. Or he is making this. Well, of course they can judge me how I play this game. <laughs> yeah, so um, I mean, while you're uh, kind of playing uh, yeah, yeah. the game here, kind of run us through what Noita is. So, so, so Noita is a roguelite. Uh, so it's a procedurally generated game. And, and the thing is that every pixel in this game is sort of simulated. Mm -hmm. They have like physical properties. So like you can see water sort of like goes, goes down and drains. So all of these assets kind of react yeah. like in a simulated yeah. way. So like there there's some liquids here and I'm just going to throw this bomb here and it's going to explode and then we're going to see, you know, you oh, see okay, this see. liquid draining down and whatnot. So this is kind of a nasty liquid so I don't really <laughs> want to touch it. Uh -huh. uh, so like the one thing you can kind of see is uh, above my head here there's like this water drop and that tells me what I'm covered in. So right now I'm a bit wet. Uh, so what that means is fire is not going to ignite as easily. Okay. So your your interactions with the environment also affect like your own properties and like buffs and debuffs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like here here's an oil lamp. Like if I shoot this, it's going to drop down and oil's going to spill and it's going to set this wood here on fire. Oh, okay. So now like because I'm wet, I can kind of go through these flames, but I don't really want to do that that much because I don't want to <laughs> really get on fire. And right. here's all this nasty green liquid that I do not want to touch because I'm going to get poisoned if I touch it. And here's, <laughs> here's some more poison, and here's someone who was, oh no, now I'm poisoned. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Look, okay, maybe we can, oh yeah, this is going to be good. Here's some oil, so now if I jump into the oil, oh, it's going to cover me. So now I'm covered in oil, Ooh. which is much better than poison. Does that, does that uh, negate the, your poison effects? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. But now I'm slippery, so you can see I'm sliding down. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow. There's, yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on in terms of, yeah. like, at least in the early game, we could see a lot of the different things that are, a lot of different properties that are going on in this world. But so I, I, got, I got to ask, like, as someone who's like designing this, how do you keep balance of the different types of things that are actually going on? So like you don't generate a level that's too difficult for someone. Like, <laughs> is there a way to make sure that there's always a way out? Or Yeah, we've, we've done it so that there should be always a path. Okay. So here was a bunch of oil here that got set on fire. Uh -huh. uh, also because I'm covered in oil, I'm going to try to avoid this fire here. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we, we've made it so that there, oh my god, there's this guy. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's see if I can else shoot yeah. out here. And you know, their their bodies are also simulated, so like you can, you can keep yeah, them it's around. Like, it's like having, uh, <laughs> yeah, everything's like live physics in, yeah. in, 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 <laughs> within, the, much. within the pixel art. Yeah, uh, yeah these, so these awesome. barrels are kind of exploded here. Okay, so, but, yeah, that's, that's a genuinely impressive. Uh, let's see. So from last year, you showed this game off with us, uh, but yeah. what has changed since uh, since then? So there's been a bunch of uh, bigger changes that have been done, but they're kind of like very well uh, hidden in places. Okay. I don't know if I should be talking about them. All right. But <laughs> sort of the visible things that have changed, we have now new sound effects finally, proper and proper music from, okay. from Grotto. So we have this dynamic soundtrack that's happening. It's really okay. cool. So I've done a bit of updating. So this is one of the things that has changed. So the way the structure of the game works is uh, there's sort of these levels, and, and once you make it down enough, you get to this place. And here, what you get is, I get here, here's my health. So here I get my health back up. And this is one of the things that's new. So I had, when I started this game, I had like three bombs. Mm -hmm. I have one more and no more of them. So this thing will give me my bombs essentially back. So that'll okay. refresh my, my stuff. And then I get to use the shop. 
Uh, damn it. Oh no. We're lacking, lacking six dollars. Oh, you spent too much money, man. Got a. And this is one of the things that's <laughs> new as well. We have now sort of perks. So once you make uh -huh. it here, you get these uh, abilities and you get to pick one of these three. So one of the things you get to do here, which is a big part of this game, is you get to modify your wands and make your own spells. Oh, okay. And so you, you attach those to your weapons to give them different things. Yeah. Cool. So like like now this this blue wand here shoots these purple things, right? Uh -huh. So I can put this uh, purple thing into my my bomb wand and uh, I think I will shoot with a bit more of a rapid fire. Oh, sweet. Uh, but the drawback of this is it's not got as much mana. So like as soon as it kind of like runs out of mana, it's gonna be like this. Oh, okay. All right. So but you're, you're playing with a lot of different variables here in terms of like, not just like in the level generation, but also with yeah. what equipment you got. Yeah, there, there's a lot of modif like things you can do. Uh -huh. So like this thing here has a trigger. So what that's going to do is it's going to shoot the next thing when it hits them. Oh, it's going to ricochet. Yeah. Okay. So you can use this to ricochet, but you can all kind of use it to do all kinds of other things. So mm -hmm. like if I were to put this bomb here, uh, uh, it should be this way. So if I put this bomb here, and now if I shoot somewhere, it's gonna hopefully do the bomb there. Oh, drop a bomb. And possibly kill me. <laughs> oh, okay, so uh, <laughs> like you can essentially like screw it up for yourself as well because oh, yeah. yeah, you yeah. are, yeah. there's like, there is friendly fire for yourself yeah. in this game, okay. Yeah. Well, it's for my dad. Can you ricochet a shot off a wall and then eventually hit yourself on accident? I, I, think, I think you can do it. Uh, Oh, okay. Yeah. But we only have for the bombs, for the like bombs. the explosions kill okay. you, and sure. there's other things that kill you. There's a lot of things <laughs> that kill you. There are enough you, things you to kill you. You don't have to worry about killing yourself in this game. All right, all right. We've got That's you covered. Good. Good. <laughs> so I'm going to pick one of these, uh, okay. and this is kind of interesting. It changes the game in a lot of ways, because like now this will allow me to edit wands everywhere, so I don't have to get only to this place to edit. And once you get out of here, this thing collapses, and you can't get back, and then you get to the next level. Cool. And so, for example, here, like, here's some material. So this is gunpowder, and here's here's a dude who's gonna shoot fireballs at me. Mm -hmm. uh, so if he if he hits that, it's gonna react. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna try to do this and kill him with the barrel. Uh -huh. uh, but his their blood is also lava, so that's, ah, that's no good. All right. Yeah, um, you're making this very hard for everyone. I <laughs> right am. off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> so. I was gonna, there's a nasty rat there. I was gonna try to... Uh, You're gonna try and uh, make the gunpowder react? Yes, I was gonna, gonna try to set it on fire. Okay. But let's see. Maybe I wanna see that. Have, you wanna see that? Yeah, I wanna see that happen. Yeah, so we can do it with the bombs. Of... Okay, sure, that's easier then. We're gonna do it with the bombs, or we can try to get an enemy here to do that for us. Okay. But like, if I put a bomb there, it's gonna explode, and then you can see. Oh, okay, and then it like creates a huge divot. Yeah. So now there's all this lava around here. There's okay. a rat hanging in there. There's a bunch of explosive things here. Uh -huh. uh, these barrels here are filled with this nasty radioactive green stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but the good thing about the, that is like it, you can neutralize it with water. Okay. And then because there was, I think, some oil, so this is on fire. So what's happening is it's generating steam that's up here. And then the steam is condensating and you can maybe see it uh -huh. dropping It's like back dro dropping into, water into yeah. it, yeah. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of, this whole level, each level, I guess, is like, the, the premise is that how reactive it can be is part of the, like, what makes Noita stand out from other games of this style. Yes. I imagine? Yes. It's very much like there is a lot of, like, interactions with, like, all the physical properties. So, like, all of this, like, you can see uh, this stuff here is kind of like this coal stuff, but there's, uh -huh. like, difference here. It's very subtle, but you can kind of see here uh -huh. it's explaining it. And then there's like gold, there's coal in here. And so if I can get that, I can pick up some coins from that. Uh, but, so let's see. Cool. There seems to be a chest in there. We're gonna have a bit of a, a bit of a dead end here, but maybe we will bomb our way in. So here's wood. I could have to set this on fire or something uh -huh. if I had anything that would ignite this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, while, while you're trying to uh, make sure you don't die, um, I wanted to ask, like, can you like walk us through like how difficult it is to create worlds like this that also make sense for from a <laughs> gameplay perspective? Because like I like I mentioned earlier, there are, I imagine there are a lot of ways in which this can go wrong. Where you, um, oh, but yeah, how, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, how yeah. challenging is it? And what are those challenges when you make a game like this? 
Well, one of the challenges is like it's it's easy to think like when making something that's like highly emergent that all the emergent stuff is kind of like good and fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is that you can all also get like sort of game breaking emergent stuff happening. Yeah. And and depending on what you kind of like think is game breaking is is a bit subjective. But yeah. for example, when we started the stream, because like all the enemies don't really have like any, they're not tied to any area. There was an enemy that was gonna come and kill me at the very beginning of the stream while right. we were yeah. waiting. Yeah, there. while we were waiting, there was a, <laughs> yeah. it was a, like a tutorial section, like a very late yeah. tutorial section, there was already an enemy yeah, approaching. Yeah, the enemy just found its way back up there. <laughs> but then what happened is the enemy tried to shoot me, but it, there was like a lantern that was on the ceiling. And it, it killed itself. Yeah, it hit <laughs> yeah. the lantern and set itself on fire and killed itself like yeah. while we were waiting. I was like, oh damn, I guess this is how reactive <laughs> and unpredictable uh, the world is so uh, like one of the attractions of Noita, I suppose, is the unpredictability. And yes. I suppose that's, that's a lot of the, the attraction for roguelites uh, in a broader sense, uh, and more so in uh, this game because of all the variables that you are messing with. Um, but uh, I also wanted to ask about, we, we, uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier, but I, you draw a lot of inspiration from Spelunky. Yes, that's um, true. And uh, since then, there's been a lot of roguelites that have kind of thought about progression a little bit differently, mm -hmm. rather than straight up uh, shutting you down once you die. Uh, so I wanted to ask, like, what, what is the approach to, like, a sense of progression? Is it purely this rogue element where you're just, like, doing run base and hopefully make it to the end? Or uh, how are you, is there a sense of rewarding players even when they die like early in their run? Uh, well, most of we're kind of like going more with the sort of Spelunky style, so there's not that much that's gonna mm -hmm. stay from run, run to run. Yeah. There are a few things, uh, and we're kind of playing around with how much of that to add. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know how much I can promise, but at the okay. moment, <laughs> There are a few things in there that are, uh, but they're kind of also maybe a bit of the end game hidden all right, stuff. All right. that's, I'll <laughs> leave that up to you if you want to divulge that stuff. You know, it's, it's your game, it's all good. But we, uh, we're not going to make it there in time, but like, okay, let's pick. Uh, not with that attitude. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> so, one of the things I, I modified here is I made my. Uh, let's see if this is going to work. Okay. This is now my wand here, I'm making it to the next area. Uh, uh, pretty far. So like now it's gonna like leave this trail of acid behind, and the acid's oh, gonna melt, melt the rest down. Of the world. And Ooh, that looks dope. And it's gonna generate this gas, and the gas is kind of flammable. So this acid business is actually really sort of dangerous uh, because it can. Oh my god, this can try and shoot me. Let's see if we can get him acid. Oh, I know. I think I also picked up a perk where it just adds more blood. So anytime we kill an enemy, there's gonna be more blood. So that's why Ooh. they're they're leaking a lot of blood. <laughs> Damn, and you a savage. Yeah, the, the blood is <laughs> blood is also like simulated, so now you can see they're covered in blood. Oh yeah, so it gets like on them. Yeah. And across the, the world and it drips along the environment too. Yes. Uh, yes, we're apparently making you a very are, violent game. You are savage, man. <laughs> I mean. Pixel art can be very expressive, as I've seen in many games that uh, do the style extremely well. Well, you can use the acid also to like melt their bodies, which is like, you Jeez, know. man. You really need to do that? <laughs> no, but it's like, <laughs> but you can't. would you not do that <laughs> if that was your option? Uh, you're, you're saying you're, you're a more moral person and you wouldn't melt their bodies. <laughs> yeah, dude. They already, already, already got them, so I don't need to add insult to injury. This guy this guy will freeze, like if, if his things will hit me, it will freeze me. Freeze but, yeah. yeah. I think he'll freeze also the environment. Uh, so, uh, so you have, for example, you, here you have a weapon that leaves the gas trail. Um, oh. Are there, ooh, nice. Are there oh, no. essentially like builds oh, no. where, actually I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna ah. ask my question, I'm gonna let you. <laughs> All right, let's see. I hope I don't get drowned this time. Oh my God. Oh, nice! <laughs> that thing ended up murdering. The, ended up murdering that guy. Can you can you kill that. those? Because you've been laying, laying a lot of lot of damage on. I think these. they I think they don't take that that much damage from this thing. Oh, okay. From my acid, unfortunately. I there's also to. I imagine there's elemental stuff too, like certain enemies yeah. are damaged by. These enemies are also fighting each other, which is possibly really good for me because I can avoid oh, getting right. murdered by everyone. If I, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, this, is, this is fine. You got away. It's fine. I've got 6 HP. Oh! Oh! It's, damn. Perfectly, it's perfectly fine. Cool. How do you recover that health? guy's gonna. You have to oh. make it to the next area. Oh, okay. We're gonna have 2 HP. Let's see if we can. Get him, get him, get him. This bullet drop, too. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, that's all good. Uh, I was sorry. I was like trying to ask a question <laughs> while you were like in the worst possible. Yeah, I blame area. this completely on you. It's hey, your man, fault. It's you you killed me. Hey, I'm just asking the questions, man. <laughs> this is asking questions. Uh, do you want to give it another, another run? We have a couple more minutes uh, sure, for you here, sure. so uh, maybe let's, do, you let's, do, let's do a quick one. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, what, what was I saying? Oh, uh, elemental stuff. Uh, do different enemies react differently to different types of uh, yes. attacks? Yes, yes. Okay. So that's uh, something you have to consider. Yes, and you can use that to your advantage. So for example, those uh, firebug guys that have lava in their blood and shoot fire, mm -hmm. they, they, they don't like water, obviously. Yeah. So like if you manage somehow to get water, like maybe get a gun or Into, a yeah. wand that like generates water, you, you can use that. Yeah. You can okay. just like murder them. So I'm, I also imagine there's an element of like juggling what properties you give each of your weapons depending on the environment and the enemies. Yeah. You're fighting. Yes. Yeah, and it can help a lot. Like if you figure out, like, oh, uh, okay, we're supposed to go fast. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Be you, man. <laughs> it would uh, be nice to see. Do we not get a single wand? Oh, like a new. Yeah. A new weapon. Yeah. A new wand. That would be nice. But I, I, I guess know. it's a regionally generated game, so that can happen. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I know that um, it's like. Earlier, your uh, wand left like gash trails. Yeah. Are there like certain builds or weapon combinations where like I can leave a gash trail and then shoot it with uh, like like a fire weapon and then it'll like not only does the gas spread but also just turn into fire and just completely obliterate like a bunch of enemies at once. Yeah, I mean you can do like let's say uh, I'm just gonna make this homing. So now I have these things will be homing now. Uh, you can like for example make make an oil trail. Uh, let's take poor Titus. So now every time I take damage, I'm going to get teleported into a random place. So what that means is that's actually, well, I'm giving out two good strategies for like speed running, but like you can use this to like if you get oh, to set on hell? fire. <laughs> so, because I'm, oh, taking, you're I'm taking, taking damage, damage all the time, so I'm teleporting around. Uh, which I'm can glad be, we got this on stream. We can get, we can, yes, we get, there we got go. to the shot. Right yes, now. I got it at the end of the shot. It teleported you right at the end. Yes. Oh. This is the way, like, you, you, you want in speed run, I'm, I'm giving you a speed run here. Dude, I'm so glad we got that on stream. That was, that was really funny. Oh, this, this is, this would actually be good. Like, now I'm, I'm also, like, I'm invisible now, uh -huh. but as soon as I shoot or get stained, I'm gonna get visible. So this way, we can snook around a bunch and we can probably get, this is much more boring than being on Than fire. teleporting yeah. while you're on fire. Oh, oh man, so that was funny. Okay. Does somebody have picked it up. It's got different properties. It'll shoot differently. I it's got all kinds of. Whoa! Already, already yeah. attached to it. I don't know. Let's let's shoot it and see what yeah, happens. See what happens. Oh. Okay. I think it's gonna do. Oh my god. Ooh. It's, it's gonna do oh, these mines. And you still have the teleportation stuff. Yeah. So you're like stacking a bunch of different properties and abilities. Oh, this sniper guy's really nasty. <laughs> Keep getting ah. shot. Hopefully, you get teleported yeah. to the end again. Let's try to get set on fire. Ah. Oh yeah, there's. A, oh yeah, I have these things that are like holding now. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like that's kind of good and bad also at the same time. Ha! Ah. See? Wow. See, I'm, I'm, Is there a ro like a like a like a formula to the t teleportation, or is it random? Or it's a bit random. Okay. So you can you can some like. Uh, <laughs> The ultimate speedrun tactic is get the teleportation stuff and just keep getting set, hit. Get set yourself on fire and yes. like... <laughs> so here's another wand that we can find, but this is I think, not that interesting. This is going to create this mist of blood. blood. What does that do? Does it like slow down enemies or...? Uh, the blood will give you uh, like uh, better chance of creating enemies. So if you're, oh, okay. if you're covered in blood, it's actually like you can kind of like possibly murder enemies. Uh, oh, yeah, just, oh snap! We do have about like a m couple minutes left <laughs> for this. So, oh, you got one help. You can make it to the end. Yes. Let's, oh no! Oh, snap. this is a sniper guy. Oh! Uh, got a little excited. My mic just uh, got don't dislodged. Oh! Try to be very careful. As you okay. as well. Yes. Oh snap! You made it to the end. I, I made it to the end with one HP, get our oh health back God. up. Oh man, this is <laughs> this is a lot to kick off my <laughs> Monday morning. Oh man, cool. Um, 
Yeah, so I want to ask also, do you have any uh, timetable in terms of release or like what's what's the, how's development going? It's, it's going pretty well, but we're still some ways off. We're, okay. we're planning on doing early access. Okay. And hopefully that's not, it's going to be hopefully at some point. All right. But I, we, we haven't announced anything and we don't want to announce before right. we kind of know we're going to make it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I understand that. But uh, yeah, Petri. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. That was Noita. Uh, you can check that out uh, on um, where. Um, wh how do you uh, are you doing? Like Kickstarters or are you? Uh, we have a, essentially we have a Steam page set okay. up, so you can wish list it there or yeah. follow us on our website. And tw we have a Twitter that we update and put gifts of the game there every often. <laughs> okay, so that's N O I T A Noita, and uh, check that out if you're interested. So uh, again, thank you for joining me, and then uh, we'll be right back. We're gonna sw swap out guests for a second, and we're gonna come back with uh, Black Future 88, so stick around for that.